So that makes you the indisposable number seven. Huh. Come on, it's simple. You six plus me is seven. Uh, wait, don't tell me I don't count. No. Uh, um. Here, take it. In the master's playful and mischievous way, he gave his apprentice Lushu a very important role. What seemed like a simple task was the element that would connect all of the events to come. The master of masters had an eye that gazes into the future. He bestowed upon five of his six apprentices a copy of the Book of Prophecies, in which was written the events to come. The Gazing Eye? Uh, it's not what it's called. Oh, what then? Hmm. Actually, no name. No name. Well, gazing or not, that Keyblade does have an eye in it. My eye, to be exact. Ew! Oh, you think that's gross, do ya? N no Yeah, sure. Anyway, about your role. You need to pass down that Keyblade to your apprentice and then him to his so that my eye can see the future. So the Book of Prophecies... Bingo! The fact that it exists is proof of your success. That means you've trained a worthy apprentice, passed down that handsome Keyblade, and fulfilled your role! Congratulations! What's the matter? Come on, you did a fantastic job! At least smile a little. But I haven't done anything yet. Good point. Guess you'd better get started then. Unfortunately, you'll have to go alone from here on out. No book of prophecies to keep you company either. I can't have you causing any temporal paradoxes. But hey, we both know you'll do just fine without it, right? Do I really have to go alone? What about the others? Minor details, so don't sweat it. For now, you, that Keyblade, and this box need to stay out of sight. Just watch with your own eyes, and my eye, of course, as things unfold between the others. Then, when the time is right, go off and do your thing. What's in it? It's a secret. And, well, you see, <laughs> the thing is... You can never, ever open it. Great, now I really want to know. <laughs> All right, I'll indulge you. But this secret stays between the two of us, and you have to promise never to open the box. I promise. Oh. But why? You'll see. May my heart be my guiding key.
May your heart be your guiding key. Picture this. Huh? A black goat stashes away a letter, then orders a white goat to search for it. What could his intentions possibly be? Great! A riddle! Just what I need. There are many possibilities. Perhaps he forgot where it's hidden. Or he's playing a prank. Or the letter has truly gone missing. I can think of several reasons offhand. Guessing is simply useless. Well, then just follow your orders, plain and simple. Yes. That's what I've always done. I follow the orders from above, without question. However, I sometimes can't help but read 
into my opponent's strategy. <laughs> Too long on the job? If the contents of the box are so unknown, why is it of such critical importance to the organization? Furthermore, was it Xehanort or Xemnas who gave the order? Well, it's tricky. All Xehanort cares about is the clash between the Seven Lights and Thirteen Darknesses. It's unlikely he would hold such an interest in this mysterious box. Which means, the order was issued by... Xemnas. Or the one who informed me of my task. You. As if. It must have been Xemnas. My inquiries suggested otherwise. Oh man, you asked him. What are your intentions? Look, I don't know what's inside the box, but it's been protected by Keyblade wielders since way back when. Aren't you curious? I heard it contains information that's vital to all Keyblade wielders. Secrets. And where did you hear this? Hmm, I don't remember. I keep my eyes and ears wide open, but I've traveled so many different places, it's hard to keep everything straight, you know? If this box is truly as important as you say, why now? I believe you discovered that others also seek it, and you need to find it before anyone else does. In order to keep your connection to the box a secret from those around you. <laughs> Zigbar, who are you really? <sighs> no matter. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's all the same. I'm content to feign ignorance. The question is, who are you, Luxord? <laughs> but so funny, old man. Mind sharing with us? I stand here today because of a fated encounter. Very many years ago, when I was still a young lad, I never learned who he was, and perhaps I never will. But I see now the truth he spoke of. <sighs> we don't have time for bedtime stories. Without the kid, we're still down a 13th vessel. And as for the other 12, only three of us are here right now. Are you absolutely sure the others made their way back to their respective times? Hmm. Hmm. Marluxia and Larxene are both here in this time, attempting to locate the new Seven Hearts. Luxerd is also somewhere about in this age, but after our last meeting, he went in search of something per your order. Isn't that so? Huh. Oh, that. Right. Well, let's just say that what he's doing will benefit us in the long run. But it's really of no importance right this second. Go on. Playing your cards close, as usual. Hmm. All right. 
The hearts of Ansem, Zemnus, Venetus, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort returned to where they came from and reassembled once more. Each of them is seeking a guardian of light. So, the ones who turn human and then back again into nobodies are me, you, Luxord, Marluxia, and Larxene, that's five. The ones from the past transferred into replicas are Ansem, Zemnus, Vanitas, Riku Replica, and the old man's younger self. Then we add the old man in, the total comes up to... 11. I think we're still missing two. Now we must discuss why we have assembled here today. My incarnations from past times, vessels into which I transferred my heart, my essence, were destroyed. Thus I was restored to what you see now. For one to completely disappear, their heart and body must be restored to their original form. That is one reason why I distributed my heart into several vessels. Ansem and Zemnis originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. However, my heart has returned to me, while his is yet lost. I decided to fill this hollow vessel with my heart. Indeed, the very same heart had previously resided within Young Terra. So that makes twelve. Then, who do we get to replace the kid? Twenty replicas were created by Vexen. The first twelve were nothing more than puppets, barely human. The prototype model was the Riku replica, and then number I was made. That leaves us with six. Ansem, Zemnus, Venetus, Riku Replica, and young Xehanort's hearts. Five vessels, one left. Vexen and Demix are candidates, but backups at best. The plan for the last replica is to give it a heart that is connected to Sora's. Connected to Sora? Anyone in mind? The second prototype that was created, Number I. Though erased from memory, it remained in Vexen's records. Its existence is greatly linked to Sora's memories, and thus should prove to be more than adequate for our needs. Number I. An imaginary number. How fitting. While young Xehanort is occupied with transferring hearts, I must go fulfill my duty. I will go and retrieve Vexen. Reliable as always. It sounds to me like you've got everything dependably under control. Well, I'm off to do my part. The plan, as we agreed upon. May your heart be your guiding key. Finally, back where it belongs.
Did you summon us back? Yep. Is that you, Lucio? You look different. I haven't heard that name in a long while. These days they call me Zigbar, but hey, whatever suits you. Is it really you? Yeah, but some time ago I had to cast my old form away. Been through plenty more semblances since, but it's still me underneath it all. What happened? Why are we here? You tell me! I had a role to play. And after all these years, it's done. What role? Hmm. I guess Ava didn't make it after all. Meaning what? I told her, clear as day, what it is I had to do. And is that why you decided to exclude her? As if. Ava had her own mission, and she carried it out. I've heard enough! Lushu, what was your role? I hope you like long stories. this new game. Seven black pieces, and? Just watch. 